Hey everybody, this is J.D. Taylor coming at you with uh, a new product here from uh, Memphis Amps. You've seen the Ronnie Shellis version, which is going to be a little bit different. This is the J.D. Taylor version of the Stage 5 Memphis Amp and uh, by Rick Davis at Memphis Amp, who came at us with the Memphis Mini, which I've thoroughly enjoyed the last few years. And this one was tweaked and... Uh, he got a lot of help from Bruce Collins, who is a amp uh, tech, harmonic amp tech uh, genius, in my opinion. He he knows amps upside down. They've taken this amp and uh, put their mojo on it, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to have my version of it. Uh, you guys have seen the videos that Ronnie's put out. Um, I love the tone that he's getting. Uh, this one's probably got a little bit more crunch, that Chicago slash Bill Street juke joint crunch to it versus the Ronnie's is a little bit more smooth uh, toned um, neither one bad both of them have great tones of course Ronnie can make a tin can sound great uh, but I'm, I'm really pleased with uh, what Rick has sent me and that I'm using this amp uh, there's a few videos uh, up uh, that he took back in Memphis in February or end of January at the IBC that Jake Frills and I were playing the uh, first model that he built. So this one's kind of along the line of the the first model, except it's got a little bit more juice to it. And so I wanted to play it for you today. And uh, I'll have several more videos coming at you. This one is just kind of my opening video of the amp and what I think about it. I've had a chance to play it several times on Bill Street. I've played it with my band. Uh, I've lined it out, which it has a true line out. Uh, another uh, deal that uh, Bruce has got it set to where whatever tone you're going to get out of the amp, you're going to get on the line out through the PA, which is awesome. But it also mics up well and I've only got it sitting on about, I'm right in front of it literally. I've got this, this is the Greg Human mic by the way with the human element. Uh, I'll play a couple of other mics with it today, but this amp, uh, I've got it setting on, uh, right under three on volume and three on tone. As you can see, I mean, I'm probably maybe a half a foot away before it starts feeding back at all, which is awesome. And at three, the volume is very loud for the, you're going to, you're going to see what I'm talking about with this amp. So let me, uh, this is a B flat sidel, uh, uh harp uh, stock comb that I, of course, naturally I put my tweak to all my harps to do the overblow overdraws. But uh, I just wanted you to hear it and uh, we'll go through a couple of mics. But this is the Greg Human, Human Element mic. Bottom. about it is it cups you know it it, it it identifies the cupping really well which is the sign of a great harmonica amp you know all my harp kings uh, anything that I, I love it when i can get that dynamic you know <laughs> Try another uh, another mic that I have. This is a Johnny Ace mic. Uh, that's got a, I believe it's got a blackie, and it's a really hot mic. Uh, as you can see on the back, I've got it dotted where I even play it uh, at about half the volume, uh, according to what amp I'm using, because it's so hot. If I turn it wide open, I can't get uh, about double the distance that I was getting out of the human mic because this this is a really hot. Uh, Element, so I'm going to pull it back just a little bit, about a quarter of a, a quarter of a turn off off the open volume. Now I haven't changed the tone at all. Another thing I like about the amp is you can darken it up or brighten it up. So I'm going to I'm going to darken it up. I'm pulling it down about two and a half. 
I got the volume set at about three, and uh, it's still really loud, but it's a different tone. This is gonna have a little bit more cut and a little bit more crunch to it. See how hot it is? And I'm literally only sitting a foot away from the amp, which is really not fair to the amp. So, you know, if I scoot on up or what? And so I'm only on three. So when you set this thing down on the floor and get in a, in a, in a, in a normal stage situation, you're gonna get the volume and you're not gonna get the feedback. You know, I'm doing this because I wanted you guys to see how close I am at, at, this, at this amp and how loud it is. If I go up to four on volume and tone, and I, I'm gonna turn up about halfway. <laughs> loud. Pretty awesome. I got one more mic that I wanted to play uh, on this video, and I will come at you with some more. I'm in seven minutes into my video here, so I'm gonna YouTube it up. Uh, this is another Greg Human mic. I unfortunately dropped it last year and broke the back piece, so I had to put me a volume control on it. But this is a, I believe it's a Sure CM element, and it's a very hot mic as well. I've had, this is the first mic that Greg Human uh, made made me i probably had it about four years but and it's kind of been a go-to mic so i usually go about halfway up on this mic uh, as you can see the volume i can go wide open but i pull it back about halfway and it's got a little bit warmer tone still got a good breakup i haven't changed the volume or the tone uh they're still on four and four right here <laughs> Got a lot of bottom. Awesome, man. I'm gonna play a low, a low C for you, so you'll you'll be able to appreciate the fact that this little amp gets some great highs and bottoms. You can just about tweak it to any way you want. I'm gonna pull the volume back a little bit to about three and a half, and I'm gonna bring the tone down to about three. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play this low C uh, sidle for you.
Try it out, man. Rick's got them on sale right now. You're not going to get a better amp for a better price, the JD Taylor model. I would not put my name on it if I didn't believe in it and I wasn't playing it. Guarantee you that, man. I'll have some more videos to come.